Okay, so here's how I beat my insulin resistance. As you can see, I always had that belly fat. And growing up, I wasn't really an athletic or fit person. Now, I'm not going to give you a meal plan. I'm not going to tell you to do keto or any restrictive diet. Pay attention. Because this video can change your life. Every time you eat food, it creates an insulin response. And different foods will create different responses. The absolute worst is liquid sugar. That includes your fruit juices. The fiber is pulled out and it's just a rush of glucose in your bloodstream. Hence the insulin skyrockets, worsening the insulin resistance. Now high sugar fruits can cause a problem as well. Pineapples, mangoes, papayas. The fruits we eat today are not like the wild fruits that are found on this planet. For example, look at carrots. It was mostly fiber. Now it's mostly starch. Look at how we've changed the apples, increasing the size, which increases the sugar and the calories. Look at a peach, used to be the size of a quarter. Now starch also has a high insulin response because starch is just chains of glucose molecules. And with rice, we strip the nutrients, leaving us with pure starch. And we do the same thing to grains as well. Milk is next. Now dairy like cheese and yogurt's fine because the bacteria ferments out the sugar, but milk has sugar because milk is a growth food. Next is protein. But protein is worsened when you combine it with carbs. There's something called a protein to glucagon ratio. And if you combine protein with carbs, well, your insulin skyrockets even more. Protein by itself is fine because the glucagon stays low. And the last one is your fats. Now, your first option can be to cut this and cut this and cut that out. That's more like a keto diet, but I'm not a person about to follow keto. I'm Indian. So here's how you can eat the carbs without having to cut it out. The key is fiber. That's why both of these fruits at the exact same calories have a completely different blood sugar spike. And the higher the blood sugar spike, the higher the insulin spike. Because remember, one of the main goals of insulin is to control the blood sugar. Now, either you up your fiber from your diet or you add a scientifically designed fiber like the balance, like I do. Fiberless carbs will spike your blood sugar. Similar to this effect, quickly filling it up, raising your insulin levels because your body's like, I need to control this blood sugar being added in. Fiber does something like that. You see, it's controlling the glucose from going in. So in that same time frame, I only got this much glucose. Secondly, I fast. In the morning, and no snacks. While you're sleeping, your insulin levels are starting to come down. The worst thing you can do when you wake up in the morning is add a bunch of starch. And even high sugar fruits will do that as well. So rather, if you can fast, you keep your insulin levels lower longer. And that's why I add the Unimate to keep me consistent because I don't have cravings, I'm not hungry, my mood is better, I'm not fatigued. There's days I wake up in the morning starving. Unimate just keeps me consistent no matter what. Now, I don't care what way you do, but this works for me. I fast with the Unimate and balance with my meals. And I even got doctors backing up this lifestyle. Stop.